So it's, a, it's an autonomous luggage transportation system. That's what we call it. Um, it's, its acronym is the ALTS, A-L-T-S. The objective of it is to, um, it's gonna be implemented in an airport setting. It's gonna be loaded up with luggage uh, in this compartment, um, suitcases, uh, things of that nature that, you would, that people would be flying with. And uh, it is supposed to navigate the airport tarmac by itself. So it gets loaded up with, with luggage and it autonomously drives itself to each individual airplane and from the airplanes back to baggage check and drops the bags off at their proper locations. The, the main saving in, in, in money for the airport would be uh, in energy costs because it's completely electric and it's also supplemental powered by solar panels. The current system at Melbourne Airport specifically is a diesel powered system. So lots of fuel costs, lots of maintenance, oil changes, things of that nature that we will not have to, to worry about with ALTS. Well, this is where we will store the luggage um, for the airport customers and it'll be loaded in here by airport personnel and then um, closed back up for transportation. This tarp is here for um, just keeping the weather off of people's luggage and um, keeping the rain off. This is actually better than what they have now currently. Right now all they have is it's actually doesn't have a roof or anything on it. They just throw a tarp over it and then keeps the rain off but we believe this is this is going to be a step up for them as well. Our computer tells it which way to turn and it's got a potentiometer that tells it where it's at, when it's straight, when it's to the right, when it's to the left. Um, so we, we feed a program into that so that so that it'll know where it's at and where it needs to turn at any given time. The linear actuator that we have installed pushes that brake and um, it, it's just it's almost like a hydraulic and it just pushes straight out and and it'll it'll push the, the brake pedal down. Uh, we can also we also made it to where it can be manually overridden, so that we can press the, the uh, brake pedal and it won't mess up the actuator at all, or the actuator can press the brake uh, pedal and it'll brake as well. The throttle by wire it's just an input into the computer. We want to accelerate 50% for this amount of seconds, um, going you know whichever direction it may go, and then all three of those systems work together in unison. Um, and they're powered by our computer, which is called the Jetson TK1. It's a it's a large computer board that um, that powers all this uh, all these systems and tells them what to do um, at the proper time. I think it's really important to get your hands-on experience and and really uh, work with a team and learn learn like the real world things um, that you learn in the shop. You can't really learn in the classroom looking at equations and doing math on paper that you can learn getting your hands on, getting dirty, uh, working with metal, working with wood, um, uh, electricity, wiring things up. Uh, there's really no replacement for the real world experience, especially for us when we, when we go try to get jobs in the real world as well.